goals. What happened? How you beat the Super Bowl champions? Cheese! All right, all right. This is the 25th pick the 2023 draft, Kansas City Chiefs selects Nick Jones, DB Ball State. Let's see who the Packers take here. With the 13th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Lucas Finess, defensive end, Iowa move here for Green Bay. Well, and what I love about it is that you, you talked about that Iowa defense. Quietly, guys, this was easily the second-best defense in college football the last couple of years behind Georgia, the back-to-back -back national champions. And a big reason why was because of Lucas Van Ness. Yeah, he might not have started, but he played more defensive end snaps than any other guy on the roster, and he produced. Like you said, there's a... Hey, how we doing, y'all? Any Lions fans in the building tonight? That was about as loud as I imagined. <laughs> Wait, what's my line? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Mom, I love you. Dad, I love you. Boys, thanks for watching. With the 177th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select James Mitchell, tight end, Virginia Tech. In the 2023 NFL Draft, this guy's going to introduce the wing. The Atlanta punter. Falcons select Demarco Hellams, no. defensive back, Alabama. 28-3, good one. We've heard that before. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh! Uh, I'm assuming that came from the New England section down in the orchestra pit. Absolutely. With the 15th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the six-time world champion New England Patriots select Mac Jones. Wow, it is, it is. Matt Jones, the confident stride of a national champion quarterback taken out of the green room after waiting for half the first round. The New England Patriots last select. With the sixth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Jalen Waddell, wide receiver, Alabama. Joe Burrow gets reunited with his fellow crazy. His son Carter donned one of Dad's old Pro Bowl jerseys, while his friend Jackson dressed as Frozone from The Incredibles. They saw all the uh, the other kids as the draft wore on, and they said, "Well, we'll, we'll give our own little spin to it." Even Vrabel's oldest son Tyler couldn't escape getting caught up in the scene. You know, I know that there's. The pick is in, and Go. Roger Goodell is going full Go. skull with the Vikings fans. Let's Go. Come on, let's go, Viking fans. With the 22nd pick in the 2020 draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Justin Jefferson, wide receiver. He can do that. He's a hit who's very explosive. He'll take that big hit, hold on to the football, uh, knows how to find the open area in that defense. Obviously, come out of Oklahoma, they scheme to get him the football, so route running, but we'll the transition. Get away! This guy's got a lateral quickness. He is so active. You talk to Dabo Sweeney. This is one of the heartbeats of that football team. We talked about him earlier. Just, just, just oh coming back to the Please welcome from uh, West Mac Virginia Fee. University, <laughs> oh, 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 2014 out. Colts Man of the Year and two-time Pro Bowler. We have a seven-second delay. Mcafee. He's Man of America, not Man of the Year. He's Man Hello, of America. Hello, Nashville. I'm not going to say a single word about the Tennessee Titans record against uh -oh. the Indianapolis oh, Colts boy. because I was a punter. And there's no reason for me to talk about that. <laughs> With that being said, we did not punt much against the Tennessee Titans, <laughs> so you probably have no clue who I am to begin. <laughs> two years ago, when I retired from the Colts, I retired alongside two greats, Robert Mathis and Joe Wright. A couple months later, I watched the draft. Robert Mathis announced the pick, Joe Wright announced the pick, and then an orangutan 
announced the fourth <laughs> round draft pick. I was replaced by a zoo animal. I was not upset about it because the orangutan was terrible at his job. With that being said, the Indianapolis Colts are the hottest team, not only in the AFC South, but the entire NFL. A young nucleus surrounding oh. the Stanford nerd, Andrew Luck. Two All-Pros were drafted last year, 10 this year. And with the 89th pick of the 2019 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts, Jim Irsay and Chris Ballard select future Hall of Famer, nice. linebacker from Stanford, Bobby Okariki. Okariki. Pat McAfee, everybody. Nice done, Pat. I mean, that's 10 out of 10 right there. Fake Dungey loves it. Hello. DK. Yes, sir. Hey, it's John Schneider with, with the Seattle Hello, Seahawks. Baby. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, bud? Good. You doing all right? Yes, sir. Hey, yes, man, sir. get fired up. We're going to make you a Seahawk right here, okay? <laughs> you all right, bud? All right, man. Congratulations. Thank you. You got, you got to help me out in the weight room, though. I'm a little little slow in that area, okay? Uh, yeah. All right. Look forward to this, brother, okay? Here's Coach Carroll. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. DK. <laughs> Hey, DK, this is Coach Pete Carroll. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. <laughs> okay, we'll both cry together then, all right? <laughs> Why y'all wait this long, man? I know, I know. I know you had to wait a little bit, but that doesn't matter because you're coming to Seattle. Man. You're going to play and you're gonna play with the Seahawks, and you're going to catch fo footballs from Russell Wilson. Well, I was surprised that he came into our interview with his shirt off. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. And uh, it kind of pissed me off, so I took my shirt off too. <laughs> Not for long, though. Yeah. yeah. It's too long. Too yeah, long. Much longer than that. Right? What's up, Dallas? Ah, uh, kickers trolling the Cowboys. Last year. I like standing up here before you as an undrafted free agent, representing that shield for 15 years tonight. I'm representing the Philadelphia Eagles, NFC East champs, divisional champs, <laughs> NFC champs, and world champs, the world champs. Hey, Dallas, the last time you were in the Super Bowl, uh -oh. these draft picks weren't born. <laughs> Doug Peterson. With the 49th pick in the 2018 draft, the NFL would like to represent the Philadelphia Eagles, Dallas Goddard. Oh. oh. He is the tight end from South Dakota State. Go, Bird. Rise up. Where my birds at? I see two sets of them. Yeah, we bringing that swag in the South, baby. Dirty birds. And for the record, I never lost to Dallas. Wow. Wow. With the 58th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Isaiah Oliver. There you DB go. DB went last year. They got a little cute. What they got to do is stop accumulating picks and start taking players like a quarterback, but don't reach for one. There was talk today they were going to take Mitch Trubisky number one. Well, that was crazy. How are you going to pass up Miles Garrett? They're going to do that. You trade down, but you don't take a quarterback at one. They pick at 12. They can try to get back up into the top six to get Trubisky, who's number 20 on my board. I am sick and tired of hearing people criticize Miles Garrett, this lack of effort. Okay, I heard the same thing in 2002 about Julius Peppers. All he does is have 143 and a half career sacks. He's a future Hall of Famer. He's soft. He's a basketball player. Takes downs off. Doesn't play hard. Miles Garrett eclipsed what Jadavion Clowney did as a freshman. Had a great sophomore year with 19 and a half tackles for loss and 12 and a half sacks. He was banged up this year. They still had production. Yet we're hearing all this criticism like he's not even one of the best 50 players in the daggone draft. Get real. Miles Garrett deserves to be the number one pick overall. Mel, it's a long <laughs> night. It's a long <laughs> Nice. Hey, 